Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about five fun facts about South Korea that would intrigue you. Now, I have my highly creative notebook and I have everything written down and I'm just going to give it to you guys one by one. <laughs> okay, so the first one we're going to be talking about is blood type. Now, if you're a funny foreigner and you go to South Korea, and someone asks you, what's your blood type? Don't freak out and think the person is asking if you're healthy or if you're sick some way or the other. It is said that they can tell your um, personality or your character through your blood type. It's just like the way you have your zodiac sign and someone can tell if you're Pisces or you're Leo or Aquarius. They say they can tell someone's personality through their blood type. How do you do that? How do you tell someone's personality from their blood type? I mean medically or scientifically, it is not possible, right? It's a fun fact. I am not going to try and create and put in the fact and see if the fun fact is a true fact. Forget it. It's a fun fact with South Korea. For number two, I'm just going to talk about Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day, the way we know it all over the world is about sound, about love, right? We talk about, you know, exchanging love through gifts and kinds and all that. It's between um, couples, like a man and a lady, right? But in South Korea, Valentine's Day is just for the men. So it's the ladies buying chocolate for the men. It's the ladies buying things for the men, not all the way around. In Nigeria, it is the same. But most time, it is not the same. What I mean is, it's most time the men buying for the ladies. But you know, sometimes both parties buy for each other, which is how it is all over the world. But in South Korea, I'm sorry. It's the lady buying for the man. Valentine's Day is for the man. <laughs> it is so funny because like I go to South Korea and then I have to like buy chocolate for my boyfriend and then he doesn't buy anything for me. I guess so. <laughs> We're gonna have a fight about it, but it's cool, yeah. So, number three, I'm going to talk about Christmas and New Year. Now, Christmas everywhere is like celebrating the birth of Christ, yeah. We know the story of Christmas. And, you know, New Year, it's a New Year, so everybody celebrates. Christmas in South Korea is for couples only. Everywhere else in the world, Christmas is celebrated by a family. You celebrate Christmas with your family, right? Because like, it all starts from Thanksgiving, and then after Thanksgiving, it goes Christmas, then it goes New Year. So those three holidays, everybody's spending it with your family. But in South Korea, it is different, really different. In South Korea, Christmas is celebrated by couples, just the couples, just like the man and the woman, two of them, a boyfriend and girlfriend, husband and wife. It is not celebrated with the family. It is the new year that they celebrate with the family. So it is, it is so funny because like growing up, Christmas has always been with the family. But then like, that is the thing. This is also cultural shock. I should have put it in my cultural shock. <laughs> because like, imagine going to South Korea, it's Christmas, right? And then you don't see people going to their families, you see them with their boyfriend and their girlfriend or their husband and their wife. It is intriguing, babies. It is intriguing. <laughs> and for the fourth one, it's toilet. Toilet and tissues. Now, in South Korea, when you go to the restroom, you don't put your tissue, your used tissue paper or your toilet paper back into the toilet. There's a trash bin just by the side of the toilet where you keep your tissues. Now, imagine you just used the toilet and you used your tissue. You don't put it into the toilet and flush it because maybe they think, or maybe it might cause a plunging issue, but like, bro, I use the tissue, I'm supposed to flush it so no one sees it. But no, South Koreans want you to keep it in the trash. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is so 
like intriguing it is so funny it is a fun fact so it has to be funny right so when you go to South Korea don't go and throw your tissues inside the toilet there's a trash bin there trash your tissues in the trash bin <laughs> for the last one we're going with age now this is one that intrigues everybody because it is weird and it is strange now we know we have the Korean age and the international age now Korean age is totally different from international age the first time I heard about Korean age it was so weird it's it felt so weird to me I'm like how do you guys calculate your age now I have a friend who's 99 who's age based with me and she tells me she's two years older than and I'm like, bro, how are you two years older than me? What age mates? One ninety-nine liner. Like, how the hell are you older than me with two years? Now, let me explain why it's like that. So, take it that you're giving birth. Let's just create a, a, a funny scenario, right? You give birth to your baby, or you are giving birth to like thirty-first August, or no, thirty-first December, twenty twenty-one. Now, when you, they give birth to you, you turn one immediately. You're one year old. They don't even wait for the minutes. You're already one year old. You're one day old internationally, right? But in Korea, you're one year old already. And then that is December 31st of 2021. January 1st of 2022, you are two years old, which internationally, you're just two days old or one day and a half old but in South Korea you're already two years old 1st of January 2022 now when is December 31st of 2022 you celebrate your birthday like no but then you're still you're still two years old right but January 1st 2023 you turn three years old mind you it's not your birthday yet so they calculate their age but yeah, so it's every year you add, every every new year you add like one to your age. So sometimes when my birthday, my birthday is a match first, yeah. And then I have my friend whose birthday is in, in the year. And then like the next year she tells me she's like, I say this is 2022, right? And 23 years old. She's supposed to be 23 years old, but she goes to tell me she's 24 years old. Now, January 1st, of 2023 she's gonna tell me she's 25 years old and i am still 23. <laughs> wow <laughs> it is so funny it is so funny but it is just the way it is in sakura that's the way they calculate their age and that is why it is an intriguing these all the five intriguing facts fun facts that i gave are so intriguing because it is so weird to the outside world how they do things in South Korea and that is why I brought these to you guys so when you go to Korea you don't you don't get surprised about some things or you don't find some things weird and all that okay guys so those are the five fun facts that I prepared for you guys today I know they were surprising to me also and I can imagine how surprising they were to you guys too <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I would love it if you guys like the video, drop a comment about what you guys think about the fun bag. If you guys can subscribe, if you guys can share and you know, so that your families and your friends can actually learn something about South Korea. And I would be so grateful. And I would want you guys to click on the notification bell so when I post another video, you can get to watch it. So that's it for that guys. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Annyeong!